I found 11 of the best work from home jobs that are gonna be available in 2024 and beyond. And the best thing is these jobs do not require an interview and you don't have to be on the phone. And I can almost guarantee you that you haven't heard of most of these jobs. So if you appreciate me doing these types of videos, let me know by gently tapping that like button. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is a gameplay recorder. And this is basically a remote gig involving capturing gameplay footage with precision, adhering to specific instructions, and possibly editing the content for clarity and impact. Now, some interesting stats that go along with this are, for one, the U.S. gaming market is worth almost $100 billion. Two, over one-third of the world's population are actually active gamers. And three, the global esports audience is set to rise above half a billion people by 2024. To put that in perspective, American football and basketball are thought to have a global audience of about 400 million people each, and baseball has a global audience of 500 million people. So, Esports is expected to have a bigger global audience than some of the most popular sports in the world. So there's several different ways that you can make money with this. Of course, you could be a gamer or a streamer, and then you could just record your own gameplay footage and upload it. But there's an entire ecosystem and an entire infrastructure of people that these gamers or streamers or YouTubers have to hire, right? Because I guarantee you these people are not editing their own videos. So if you can get really good at selecting the right gameplay and then editing that, that is an incredibly valuable skill. And in some cases, you can actually just get paid to play even if you're not a well-known person. So for instance, here is a gig that basically says get paid to play Minecraft and then record it with Blockbuster and it pays about $2,000. And also there's many different positions that you can move into such as operations manager or social media manager or a creative director type of position that can pay even better. But video editors on their own make pretty good money. So yeah, there's lots of opportunities here as an employee, as a freelancer, or even starting your own business. I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an AI prompter and there's many different types of jobs that you can do this in but I'm going to choose a mid journey prompter specifically and basically what you're going to be doing here is expertly prompting mid journey in order to create the images that you want to use for a particular product service or brand. So this position is actually referred to in several different ways. You might hear it as a mid journey AI prompter or you might hear it referred to as an AI content specialist. And as you can see, prompt specialists or AI prompt engineers or any number of different things you can refer to these types of positions as make really good money. And there's lots of different opportunities for freelance work. And there are many people who are starting AI prompt engineering agencies. So that's basically where you go into a business, you automate and streamline their processes using AI, and that basically saves them a ton of time and effort. And in many cases, it can help them make more money. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I think there's a ton of opportunity here. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, when you're creating these images, most of the time they're going to be used for marketing material. And so this falls under the category of digital marketing. And digital marketing is one of the absolute best types of careers that you can go into. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have had success getting into digital marketing and they didn't have to have a college degree or previous experience. And they all were able to land jobs in digital marketing because of my friend Seth. And he's basically the world renowned expert on helping people get jobs when it comes to digital marketing related careers. Now he does have a free masterclass where he goes over his favorite digital marketing careers, the ones that are the easiest to get into. And he also talks about what types of personalities are going to be the best for these different types of careers. So you can check that out by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below if you're interested. Next is going to be data annotation. And this one, weirdly enough, is also involved in AI because you're basically gonna be helping to enhance AI capabilities. And basically you are going to be looking at data and you're gonna be adding context to it. And in many cases, you're gonna be looking at the output of AI and grading it as to whether it's good or not. Now you make really good money with this. There's also lots of opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen. You can check them out if you'd like. And if you do this as a freelancer or a part-time thing, you're typically gonna make about 25 to 30 dollars an hour. So this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a data visualizer. And a data visualizer basically creates visual representations of data through graphs, charts, and infographics to make complex information more understandable and interpretable. And a wide range of different types of companies hire for this type of position, all the way from tech firms to marketing agencies to healthcare organizations and financial institutions. And believe it or not, data visualizers make about 68 to 109,000 
$1,000 a year. So I'll go ahead and put some opportunities up on the screen. This is one where you can get a job. You can also do it as a freelancer. And yeah, this one is really good. It's not really an entry level job. However, you don't necessarily have to have a college degree or previous experience to do it. There's many free and affordable courses online in places like Coursera, where you can learn these types of skills, get certified, and then land your first job. So I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a virtual call host. And this is basically where you're going to be a host of a virtual gathering. And these would typically be in places like Zoom or Google Meet. And there's lots of opportunities for this one as a freelancer. Here's some that I'll put up on the screen just to give you an idea. And there's also opportunities if you're doing larger Zoom meetings to be a producer. And this is basically just where you make sure that the Zoom meeting is going to go through without a hiccup. Because if you have like 500 plus people, sometimes there can be issues with people connecting to it and issues with the live stream, etc. And event hosts typically make about 44 to $72,000 a year. So yeah, this is another pretty good one. Another one of those jobs that really didn't exist five years ago. And those types of jobs are usually the ones that are easier to get into. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be a resume writer. And this is one of my favorite sort of part-time gigs, side hustles, even something you could start a business from potentially. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You help people to write their resume. But the key here is you need to specialize in a particular career. And it's usually best that you specialize in the career that you actually did yourself. So if you're watching this and you're a nurse or you're an accountant, or maybe you specialize even further than that, you're a particular type of nurse, this could be an amazing opportunity for you. And I know people who have started seven figure businesses helping people write their resumes. However, if you just wanna do this as a job, you're probably gonna make about 50 to $87,000 a year. And there's lots of opportunities for freelance work as well. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and you think of anybody else who might enjoy the video or would get some value from it at least as well, go ahead and send it to them. Maybe it's a friend, a family member, or someone who just needs to get a job. Next is going to be an AI artist. Now this one is incredibly interesting because there's some AI technologies that are coming down the line that are going to disrupt so many different industries out there. One of them, for instance, is creating 3D art that is is designed to be printed with a 3D printer. Now, if the wheels in your head aren't turning when I say that, I mean, I don't know what to tell you because there's so many different opportunities here. Just one of them, for instance, would be helping people to design their Halloween costumes, right? I'm sure you know people who have spent weeks or even months in some cases putting together a really cool Halloween costume. Now, imagine if you could take all that work that took weeks and do it in an hour. And imagine if it was perfectly fitted for your body type. That is going to be what's coming down the line with some of these AI technologies. Now, another thing that's gonna happen very quickly is the ability to create cartoons or animations, or in some cases, anime, instead of just still images using stuff like Midjourney. Now, if you know anything about animation, creating cartoons or creating anime, it is incredibly intensive work. It takes a lot of people and it takes a long time to create this. However, with the new AI that's coming down the line, it's going to be much easier to do it. Because if you think about it, even movies are just 24 pictures per second, right? That's literally what a movie is. It's 24 pictures put together per second. And it happens so fast that your eye can't even tell the difference. And it's the same thing for animations. It's just a bunch of pictures put together so quickly that it appears as if it's moving. Amazing. And so as you can imagine, there's gonna be a ton of opportunity when it comes to animation in the next few years. So these are just a few of the opportunities that are coming down the line. Here are some salaries that are kind of related to those types of careers. Here are some opportunities. I'll put them up on the screen for you, both jobs as well as freelance opportunities. And yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Um, it is relatively new. It's not really established. So it's not like a super easy thing just to look this job up on LinkedIn. But if you can find somebody who's doing it and get in on the ground floor, there's gonna be a massive, amount of opportunity in this industry. So for that reason, I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be t-shirt design. Now this is something where you can do it as a career. You can also do it as a side hustle, or you could start your own business. And typically you'd be designing these t-shirts and you would be selling them with what's known as print on demand. And that's basically where people have to buy the t-shirts before the t-shirt is actually printed. And this saves you and the manufacturer a ton of money because you basically just advertise the
the t-shirt online and then it's not printed, stored or shipped until somebody buys it. And there's lots of different stories online of people who make full-time income, sometimes even millions of dollars a year from print on demand. And full-time t-shirt designers make about 41 to $66,000 a year. There's also lots of different freelance gigs that are related to this. You can check those out. And yeah, this one's pretty good. Uh, it does require you to be quite creative. You kind of have to guess what the next trend is when it comes to t-shirts. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I think I only have about 20% of people who watch the channel who are actually subscribed. So let's try to get those numbers up. Next is going to be anything related to YouTube. So this could be a YouTube designer, you'd be helping with thumbnails, a YouTube videographer, you'd be helping to record videos, or a YouTube video editor. Now those are some of the entry level jobs, but you can move up to higher level positions such as a YouTube operations manager or a YouTube creator creative director. And I think it's pretty obvious what you would be doing in these different jobs. As a YouTube video editor, you would be helping to edit YouTube videos. And as a YouTube thumbnail designer, you would be helping to create captivating thumbnails. And there's actually a ton of opportunity for people who are skilled at this. And if you're somebody who watches a ton of YouTube, you probably have a competitive advantage because you probably just kind of see the matrix, so to speak, when it comes to what's going to do well on YouTube or not. I know one of the reasons that I had so much success on YouTube is because I watch a lot of YouTube. And by the way, I do coach a few people every month when it comes to starting, growing, and monetizing a YouTube channel. I have gotten this channel to the point where it makes over six figures a month. And I've also coached people and helped them make over six figures a month as well. In fact, some of my students have surpassed me. So if you're interested in that, uh, you can click the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below to apply. I am pretty picky about who I accept because I'm only going to work with people who are extremely serious about having success with YouTube. But yeah, check it out if you're serious about it and you'd like my help. So yeah, YouTube related career are awesome. This one is going to get an opportunity score of 9.5 out of 10. Next is going to be lead generation. And this is a super valuable skill to have. There's several different careers you could go into. One of them is called lead generation specialist, for instance. And this is basically where you gather the contact information of people who would be very likely to buy a product or service. So as an example, if you're working for a company that basically helps gyms with their marketing, as a lead generation specialist, you'd basically comb the internet and find find the information for how you can contact the decision makers in these different gyms. Now in that example, it's pretty obvious how you'd find that, but there's a lot of examples out there where it's not as obvious. And this is why you can make a ton of money when it comes to lead generation, especially if you pick the right niche. So an example of a great niche would be private equity or homeowners that want to install solar. And lead generation specialists make 65 to $120,000 a year. And the best thing about this is you don't need a college degree or previous experience. You just need to have the skills. And you can learn the skills for this on many different courses online that are available in places like Coursera or Udemy. Then you can put together a portfolio to show that you know how to use the different types of software and you know the general strategies when it comes to lead generation. And then you're gonna be much more likely to get hired. But yeah, lead generation is awesome. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is gonna be a gaming buddy or a gaming coach. So there are opportunities to be a gaming buddy where you literally just play video games with people. Believe it or not, there are opportunities out there for that. You can see freelance work for it, for instance, but a little bit more lucrative in my opinion and a little bit more stable is being a gaming coach. Now you can be a gaming coach for the esports industry. You can also be a gaming coach for something like chess if you're good at it. For instance, this 24 year old earns $3,000 a month as a professional video game coach. There's also a lot of YouTube channels on chess like Gotham Chess, for instance, and he's estimated to make between five and $10 million a year. And he just teaches people how to play chess. So there's lots of opportunities here. You do have to get a bit creative with it, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, if you didn't see it, I had a video go viral where I went over the seven work from home job companies that are almost always hiring. And you can check that video out by clicking right here.